Today is not that day. Today, we are well into it. And we're going to talk about how we thrive in this new world that we live in and the opportunities that we have today that we've never had before. That's what's exciting about it. But I want to say thank you. I want to thank you for your partnership and your hard work. Had a really, really, really good year. In fact, I am extremely proud of the work that's gone into this year. And it's not all been easy. There's been some tough times on all of us in reinventing. Successful in the past, but we're now reinventing in the future so that we can continue again to find success in the future. But it wouldn't be possible without the tremendous partnership and hard work we have of over 600,000 partners around the world in 190. One country. You and we're on the same side as you are. How do we grow our collective businesses together? And if you, there's a few things I really want you to take away from this WPC this year. First and foremost, we are making progress on this transformation. In fact, we are making really good progress, and I'm going to share some of that with you. We've got a lot to be proud of. We know we still have a lot of work to do, but we've got a lot to be proud of. And we're gonna to continue to accelerate and find ways to accelerate that progress. But I want you to know how proud we are at Microsoft of the collective transformation. As a company, we've made decisions. One of the ones that we were about zero royalty on nine inch and below devices. That was not an easy choice but it was a necessary choice. Making Office cross-platform, bringing the best of productivity, deciding that we as a company are gonna win in productivity became important for us. Getting into first-party hardware was not an easy decision, but we wanted to lead the hardware innovation cycle. Not be an exclusive, closed, but one that leads the innovation curve and then pushing the boundaries of where innovation can go. And on the third-party partnerships, we're having some third-party partnership dialogues, discussions, and agreements today that I don't think we would have dreamed of five, six, seven years ago. And they're necessary, they're important. And it's new OEMs, and it's new partners with people we compete with, new partnerships with people we compete with. And it's been very important for us to continually examine. Everything's on the table. We're going to relook at everything. But just know this, Microsoft is willing to do whatever is necessary and delight customers in the marketplace. And it's good for customers. And we're going to continue to in a very, very significant way. And we're going to continue to embrace the realities of the mobile first and cloud first world. Now, before I talk about where we're going and what the future looks like, let me just do one quick slide on where we've come from. Our past has been a very, very successful one. And it started certainly with Windows Client and that Windows client OS. And then it moved into Office and productivity became the second big leg of our stool. And then the third big leg of our stool was Windows Server and moving into the enterprise. And with our partner channel, we had an attach and a license motion that was very, very effective. And it was good for you and it was good for us for a long, long time. 
But in this mobile first cloud first world, as Satya Nadella, our new CEO, points out, our world looks a lot different. It's a new reality today in the mobile first and cloud first world. And in order to deliver the experiences our customers need, we will deliver digital work for dual users, both at home and at work, with productivity at our core. And all of them will be explicitly, explicitly engineered so that anybody can find, try, buy our services and solutions and products. And we're going to continue to build out solutions and products that are cross-platform so that they will be more connected and more contextual and more personal to improve our security and privacy and make sure that all of our products are the best in this particular area of anyone in the marketplace. And Cortana is a great example of this experience for dual users and what you can expect that we will continue to deliver into the future. And we will be the productivity and platform company. And I thought Satya summed it up extremely well in this quote, which is, we will reinvent productivity to empower every person and every organization on the planet to do more and achieve more. That's the future of Microsoft. This is where we're going. And we're going to go there with our partner community intact and continue to find and create opportunities for you to grow your business value and help us better serve our mutual customers. But we also know that succeeding in this new world means each of us has to continually change and evolve. We can't stick with the status quo. We have to redefine how we think about the market. In that old world, in the attach and license world, we used to really measure PCs and PC growth. And we love the 300 or so million PCs. In fact, we still have more than 90% share. We love those users. But the reality is the world shifted. The world, and we now measure ourselves in the total device space. And in the total device space, we have a 14% share of devices, total worldwide devices. And this includes the more than 90% penetration that we have for PC users on an annual basis. So we have a much bigger opportunity than we ever had in the past to grow our mutual businesses, but we have to rethink how we look at our businesses. There is a new reality in this total world of devices. And this 14% presents a great opportunity for us to embrace that. And in this new world of 14% device, you have to have a new mindset. Because when you're in a 90 plus percent share world, you have a protect and preserve mindset. When you have 14% share, you have to have a challenger mindset. And each one of us, our partners, Microsoft employee, partner account manager, everybody has to adopt this challenger. And when we think and act like a challenger, there's three distinct things that we have to have. First is disruption. We need the ability to change the dialogue by reinventing the scenario of the business model and or the product solution and service. We have to think like a disruptor. That's what each of us have to adopt. And it's an important attribute. And this again falls on our shoulders. We need the ability to have clear articulation and delivery of what is special or unique about our value prop more than we ever have before. Which means we not only have to know our solutions, we have to know the other guy's solutions as well. And make sure that we're able to disrupt and differentiate. At least, certainly is speed. We have to all get the ability to get there fast. And if we're gonna fail, fail fast. And learn fast. But do it, try it, fix it. 
is the real mentality in this challenger world that we live in. So these three things I need you to think about. I need you to internalize. I need you to think about how you can populate and grow the capability of these three things in your own organization. Because in this 14th world that we live in, to 18, from 5 to 30, and just keep climbing the chart, is much bigger than anything that's exciting. That's thrilling. And that's the beauty of the model that we put together with our partner ecosystem. Now, a year ago, I said there were four big trends that we were going to embrace and build our solutions and scenarios and portfolio out and around. Cloud, mobility, social, BI, and big data. And these trends are, have been a great benefit to all of us. In fact, it's been very clarifying for us to have these four trends in our business model and go-to-market model. In FY15, in fact, I like these four trends to 